This first story takes us right here in Iran, where the leader Ayatollah said Ali Khamenei says the terrorist attack in Ahwaz is a continuation of conspiracies by U.S. puppets in the region. In a message, Ayatollah Khamenei strongly condemned the act of terror, saying it once again shows the cruelty of the Iranian nation's enemies. Iran's leader described the attackers as mercenaries linked to the same governments that keep speaking about human rights hypocritically. Ayatollah Khamenei warned that such terrorist acts are aimed at destabilizing Iran. He, however, said that the Iranian nation will overcome all difficulties to the dismay of its enemies. Now, the leader offered condolences uh, to those who lost their loved ones in the terrorist attack in Ahwaz, which left over two dozen people dead. Crossing over right here in Tehran, I'd like to welcome Professor Fouad Izzadi from the University of Tehran to the program. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, well, you've heard uh, the leader and what he said about regional entities supported by the U.S. and uh, possibly behind these terrorist attacks. Let's look at this, uh, because, of course, uh, in the so-called international community, it is Iran that is continually condemned, to continually sanctioned, and Iran actually has one of the uh, biggest recipients of terrorism uh, in this region and in the world. And of course, again today, we're seeing uh, Iran, uh, actually another terrorist attack taking place here. And if we look at the mainstream media, the lack of condemnation, the lack of actually calling it a terrorist attack, I mean, what does it all say to you? Um, it uh, says that, uh, unfortunately, we have a lot of hypocrisy when it comes to uh, Western leaders and also uh, corporate media. We have a situation where uh, Iran is uh, blamed for terrorism without any evidence. And then when uh, there is a serious terrorist attack inside Iran, uh, the uh, media outlets generally try to find excuses uh, for what has uh, happened. I was on uh, three different programs on international media uh, before coming on your show. Mm -hmm. uh, and the common uh, analysis is that the Sunni Muslims in Iran are uh, behind uh, this terrorist attack, which is an injustice to the Sunni Muslim community in Iran. Sunni Muslims don't engage in terrorism. Muslims don't engage in terrorism. Shia Muslims don't engage in terrorism. Mm -hmm. These are terrorist organizations that are funded by the intelligence services of countries like the United States, like the Israelis, like the Saudis. The Saudi Crown Prince uh, talked about uh, taking the, the war inside Iran and attacking uh, Iran from uh, inside sources. Uh, so we do see a lot of hypocrisy. We do see a lot of analysis that is aimed to actually create discord. And the fact that uh, women and children were killed uh, today does not seem to bother uh, any of these leaders or uh, new outlets. Yeah, it is interesting, Mr. Azadi, when we see the difference in coverage. If it's a terror attack uh, in Paris, it's covered one way in London and Paris and other Western capitals and cities. It's covered in one way. And uh, when it comes to Iran, of course, there's a whole uh, different criteria for it. When we look at, you've just talked about uh, Mohammed bin Salman, uh, of course, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, and how he said that he would, or Saudis would, take the war inside of Iran, basically trying to destabilize Iran. I mean, that statement in itself is actually uh, uh, goes against international relations, goes against international law in trying to destabilize another country. And yet Iran is continually punished for trying to destabilize countries, for example, like Syria, when in actuality it's trying to stabilize it. So the question is, what has to be done as far as the Islamic Republic of Iran in trying to continue with the direction that it is going, but at the same time trying to counter so much pressure from so many different directions? Uh, the, the people who were behind the terrorist attacks uh, need to be punished. Uh, the statement that uh, was issued by Ayatollah Khamenei and also other Iranian officials have talked about it, that when uh, uh, terrorist organizations 
uh, engage in terrorism inside Iranian territory, they will be hit, and they will uh, be hit uh, very hard. We had an example of this just a, a few days ago, uh, a base that belonged to a terrorist organization. The base was inside the uh, Kurdish area in Iraq. It was hit with uh, ballistic missile. And you can uh, rest assured that ballistic missiles will fly again towards the uh, entities that uh, were behind uh, this attack. The attack will not uh, be unanswered. Uh, this is the first step. The second step is to uh, make sure that uh, the frame that uh, the corporate media has created against Iran is corrected. Uh, Iran does not engage in terrorism. Iran will fight against terrorism. The fact that Iran has been fighting terrorism in Syria and Iraq is an indication. And Iran will continue to do that. Iran will continue to fight uh, governments like the United States and Israel and, and the Saudis that engage in this type of activity. And uh, the resolve of Iranian people will be strengthened when they see uh, these, these type of terrorist activities inside their, their own country. They realize why they have uh, an army. They realize why uh, fighting terrorism is necessary. In fact, uh, Iran has been successful in the last many years to make sure that these type of terrorist activities are not common in Iran. Iran is in the middle of the, uh, the region, the Middle East region, that is, uh, has, that suffers from terrorism uh, extensively. And Iran is relatively a safe country. Uh, so overall, uh, I think uh, the aim of the terrorist organizations that engaged in, in, in the events in Ahwaz today um, uh, is actually going to strengthen the Iranian resolve uh, to fight uh, against uh, uh, this type of activities. And the true nature of support that the United States talks about human rights and uh, rule of law and international law uh, the, the, and the level of hypocrisy is, I think, going to be very apparent. Uh, and we haven't heard any condemnation, even a, a, just a symbolic com com uh, condemnation mm -hmm. from governments that uh, supported its organizations in the past. Thank you so much for being with us out of Tehran, Professor Fouad Ezadi from the University of Tehran.